You can use color grading lookup tables to modify the look of the overall rendering. I opened the sponsor model. Let's search for the weather by applying filtering to the entities with this little cloud button. Select the weather. From the weather component settings, use the load color grading loop button. If you hover over this button with the mouse, then the tooltip will report that you must load a PNG image file with this, which is an RGB image with the resolution 256 by 16. Within the content models folder, three color grading lookup tables are provided for you to make an example. You will be interested in the color grading loot filter and the color grading loot sepia for now. The color grading loot default is just the default values of the color grading loot. We won't use it right now. If I open the color grading sepia, then the rendering will show, then the rendering will change to this kind of grayscale brownish image. Click the color grading loot button again to remove the color grading editor to default and click it again to load a different one. Load the color grading loot filter. This is a different color grading loot by slightly modifying the colors to be more stylish. You can easily create your own color grading lookup tables. Reset to default. If you press the Ctrl G button, Ctrl and G buttons in the editor, then in the top left corner of the window, a color grading lookup table will be displayed for you. Then you can load this color grading lookup table in an image editing software and edit it to with some image transformations like inverting colors, changing contrast, saturation, brightness, gamma, or color levels. But changing simply the color grading lookup table would not be very easy. Or you wouldn't see, see the result immediately in the image editing software, which is a very useful, which would be very useful. So for that, you want to capture a screen of the rendering with the color grading lookup table enabled. I will disable the HUD now by entering cinema mode in the editor. Pressing Ctrl G to display the color grading lookup table and capturing a screenshot. Alt pin print screen. I go to paint.net image editing software and I will paste the screenshot. Now I have a screenshot of the screen with the color grading lookup table in the top left corner. Now you can modify the image with some adjustments. Let's say that I want to adjust the curves of the image slightly. Let's say that I want to add the green tint filter to the image. Let's disable the red and blue channels and modify the green curve by slightly increasing it. Like this. This will make a good example. Apply the filter. And right now what you want to do is to, to copy out this color grading lookup table in the top left corner and save it as a separate image. It is very easy to do in paint.net. Just make sure that you copy over the whole color grading loot and only that so that your image will be 256 by 16 resolution. You can press the Ctrl Shift X to simply crop the image to the selection and make sure that the resolution that is displayed in the bottom information display of paint.net reports 256 by 16. You can now save this color grading image, save it to the content models folder for now and call it green, greenloot.png. Go back to the editor, exit cinema mode with the ESC, Load the color grading loot that we just saved. It was called green. And now you have the green color grading applied into your rendering in the Wicked Engine. 
Now, if you compare the this image that you specified in the image editing software, the color transformation must match. Go back to paint.net and do some operations and then compare these two images. All right, I'd say they are pretty similar. Let's create a new color grading just to show that it can be used with a different effect as well. Now, undo, so your screenshot contains the original color grading, the default color grading, and use the invert colors modifier. So all the colors will be inverted here, and I expect that all, all the colors will be inverted in the editor as well. Let's again select this color grading loot in the image editor, crop it, save it as a new image, hold it, inverse lot. Go back to the editor, reset the color grading, and then load the inverse LUT. As you can see, all the colors are inverted like they should be. Compare it with the result in the image editor, just to make sure. They are similar. If you now save the scene with the color grading applied, this will be saved into the weather component, so the color grading will be retained the next time you load the scene. To demonstrate, let's save this scene as A. Close the scene. And then reopen the scene. You have the color grading retained.